Uh, next up is Jordan, who will be talking about weekly ship activities. Hi guys, I'm Jordan. I'm the Western Region Bosun's Meet for Marketing, and thank you for having me. Um, next slide, please. So the first thing before you want to plan an event is to communicate with the crew. Asking what they have in mind for fun, recruiting, and advancement is very important because if your crew is not engaged, then they will not come back. So a good leader should always do their best to communicate well with the team so that the crew remains engaged with the activities. The next step is to gather the quarter deck. The quarter deck is responsible for planning all events. So traditionally we have quarter deck meetings. My ship is going to hold them on Tuesdays before our weekly meetings so that we can all communicate well together and then plan our following calendar. All crew leaders should be present for the meeting, especially the bosun, bosun's mates, yeoman, and purser, in my opinion. You would want to bring the following, a pad and pencil and an up-to-date calendar. Everybody should be writing down their own notes so that they can hold them for the next meeting and also help plan future events. The next thing that you want to do is brainstorm with the crew. So, you want to, again, listen to your ship's feedback. What have they been telling you lately? We want to do more day sales. We want to actually do more recruitment because we're running low on members. We want to do more paddle sports. We want to do more advancement. So you have to look at what the crew is saying. Communication is very important in sea scouting. If there is no communication, then there are no clear answers. And next, you do want to narrow down the events and then go from there based on priority. So for an example, if you have lots of repairs that are needed on your vessel, you might want to plan a work party, or if your goal is advancement, you can plan a cruise, or you can even combine the two. My ship has had work parties and then gone on day sales later so that we can practice and work on our advancement together. So the next step would be to determine when, where, who, and what. So, of course, you need to look at your calendar, which is why you need to bring it to the quarter deck meeting, and you need to look at your available weekends and go based off of priority. That will help tell you when, and then to decide where. If your crew wants to see a movie, you have to decide which movie theater you're going to based on expenses. Or if you want to go sailing, you need to tell the crew that you're going to be meeting up at the sea base. Next, you need to decide where. Like I said, you need to decide which theater you're going to or if you're coming to the sea base. The next is who. The reason why it is important to know who is going to these events is that you can plan accordingly. For an example, if the bosun says that he or she cannot make it to the coming up day sale, that gives the bosun's mate and the rest of the crew enough time to mentally prepare, especially the bosun's mate, since the bosun's mate will, will be taking charge in the bosun's absence. And next is, what are we bringing? If you're going on a day sail, you might want to take some paddle sports with you, like kayaks or paddle boards or rowboats. Like, if you go to a beach area, then you can just take those out and have some fun. My crew has done that as well. So it's a good idea to plan ahead of time what you want to bring so that you can make your event more fun. Now we have to apply this method to the calendar. My ship plans our calendar six months in advance so that our crew know what's to, knows what to expect. And already, we're even planning our next summer cruises so that our scouts can start fundraising and saving money for it. So we're already trying to gather ideas. That's why you need a fresh calendar. That, and another thing is your crew wants to have fun with this. So you want to have at least one hangout day a month. At least that is my suggestion. When I was bosun, I would often plan a movie day or a movie night or just a hangout day at somebody's house so that the crew could bond well together. The more your crew bonds and has fun together, the more they will function together and the more that they will remain engaged in the program. I noticed that after planning those events, then our crew just had more fun doing anything together, even if it was as boring as a garage sale. 
and you always want to go on the water. One main thing that Sea Scouts are always marketing for is being out on the water. We always show us in kayaks or sailing on boats to show that we go on high adventures. And you want to actually fulfill this so you don't have broken promises. Next is for the people that are already there. You want to plan a cruise. Just like Boy Scouts go camping a lot, cruises are engaging for Sea Scouts. My crew has two cruises set up in the next two weeks and a lot of our newer scouts are interested in joining and the older scouts are coming and they're going to teach us and the rest of the crew how to do these different things. Cruises are essential for learning things on your vessel and it also helps with bonding and it shows you how well your crew will communicate. So it is important to plan these because it can help you learn more on the water. And you always want to keep recruitment in mind when planning things on your calendar. You want to plan an open house. I know that my ship has an open house coming up in a few weeks. In fact, our entire sea base does. We're hoping that we'll have lots of people showing up because one of the ships at our sea base just got a brand new vessel and it'll be nice to show it off to these new prospective scouts. And our vessel is very nice and our crew is very nice and very welcoming. And we would love to engage more people. So while you want to keep fun and advancement in mind, you also want to keep recruitment in mind because you always want your ship to grow. Next is advancement. Advancement is extremely important in scouting. I'm helping teach advancement merit badges at my sea base over the summer and they're all Eagle Scout required. And it is amazing to see how focused these children can actually get for their Eagle. So if I can see 12 year olds do it, I know that people my age want to work on advancement as well. That's why it's a good idea to tie advancements into your activities. I know that my ship really, really wants to focus on advancements. That's why we have dedicated four, no, two meetings every single month just to those who want to advance. So if you're planning a day sail, for an example, you might want to practice anchoring your boat, which is an ordinary requirement, or even practicing man overboard drills, which is also an ordinary requirement. Next step is you always want to remind your crew about what's on the upcoming calendar. It's too easy to forget what's going on the calendar with everybody's busy lives. I mean, people, a lot of the kids in my ship are in college or they're just leaving high school, so they're going to be entering college and they may fill up their weekends with other activities. So you always want to send out reminders. Uh, my ship has reminders automatically sent out because we use an app called TeamSnap, which allows us to plan our events and then TeamSnap 48 hours in advance will automatically send out a reminder to everybody's email. This helps keep our youth engaged because they may forget that there is a day sale coming up on Saturday. Then when they receive that notification Thursday night, they can go, oh, well now I know what I'm doing on Saturday. And then they'll come along. And it's just too easy to overlook the calendars otherwise because everybody's lives are so busy. If you don't have an application like my ship does, traditionally sending out reminders would be the yeoman's job. And feedback. After any event that you do with your crew, you always want to listen to what they're saying. People will always talk. So you want to hear if they liked something and why they didn't like it. Or if they did like something, you want to know about why. You can also actively engage this conversation with them and let them know the importance of feedback and communication with your leaders and your crew. And while planning these events, it's an amazing opportunity to improve your leadership skills. This doesn't just go for the bosun. This goes for everybody at the quarter deck meeting. During this process, you can practice delegating. You know, the bosun naturally should have delegating, delegation skills or should be practicing them at all times. So he, he or she could say, bosun's mate, may you please find out our next available weekends. Purser, can you please work with the bosun's mate to discover the costs? And the bosun could also help plan the events. And then the yeoman could take the notes and give important 
um, feedback as needed. So the reason why it is important to practice these is because it's important in sea scouting. If you want to move up in sea scouting, you should be paying attention to your crew leaders and you should be learning from them. So such as listening skills, time management, these are all essential skills in scouting and in other areas of life that adults and youth need to constantly practice. And thank you.